my cell. No emails or texts. No messages or texts. I leave the front door open for the people that I'm close to. Life short. We're trying to get down like we supposed to. Scratch out all your plans. You got nowhere else to be tonight. Give it just a minute and I promise you you'll see I'm right. your people where it's at. If they don't know, they're gonna find out. Forget about the past, cause in here there's only right now. We don't need the speakers on your stereo to dance. We love you, So nice to see you all. My name is Jim Waterbury. Welcome to the 25th Gold Star Awards for Outstanding Teaching. It's hard to believe that we've been doing this 25 years already, and we are so glad that you are here tonight. We're going to have a lot of fun. It's going to be a quick show, and you're all going to get a chance to make a lot more noise than you just made for your teachers, but we have just a couple things that we need to do first. I want to tell you just a little bit about the show. The Gold Star Awards began here in 1989 in Blackhawk County. That was 25 years ago. The program is produced by the McElroy Trust and our friends at KWWL. And the reason that the program is here is because we know that you care about teaching just as much as we do. We want to give special thanks to all the community leaders that have joined us tonight. You can read their names in your programs, and you can greet them all in the lobby after the show, and that'll be coming up in about 45 minutes. We also want to thank you and I for, again, letting us come into this just gorgeous facility. Did you know that you and I has prepared 12,000 of Iowa's teachers, and that includes 1,200 who are teaching right here in Blackhawk County? Seven of our teachers here, of the 10 that we're recognizing tonight, have degrees right here at you and I, and they're just a great host. Now, one other thing. Have you ever wondered who R.J. McElroy was and how the Gold Star Awards came about? Well, we thought you might, so we put together a video to kind of give you a little background, and Watch the screen. Let's see if we can learn a little about R.J. McElroy. You gotta motivate. Get up and keep going. As it turns out, R.J. McElroy, or Mac, as everybody called him, was a really cool guy with a really amazing life story. Mac didn't have an easy childhood. His family was really poor, but because of his mom's encouragement, he knew that he could make something of himself, something big. In the 1930s, Mac moved to Iowa to become an on-air radio personality. Kind of like your modern day Ron Steele. Except instead of reading the news, Mac would interview people on the street. In 1947, Mac founded the Black Hawk Broadcasting Company and put the radio station KWWL on the air. Did you know that KWWL was a radio station before it was a TV station? KWWL, Iowa's news channel. Mac died when he was only 56 years old, and then his good friend Robert Buckmaster took over the company. Mac left behind a great gift, a trust fund to help kids in Northeast Iowa. Over the years, the RJ McElroy Trust has given over $50 million to programs just like this one. So there you have it. Mac didn't have much as a kid. When he grew into a successful adult, he knew he needed to give back so that other kids could have the opportunities and education that he just never did. And that's a pretty incredible gift to our community. So thank you, RJ McElroy, for all that you've done. Isn't that an amazing story? You know, everybody thinks that Mac was, was rich and that he was wealthy and he gave all this money because he had it to give. He, he really didn't have all that much. But what he did have was tremendous foresight and tremendous interest in and respect for education. And he wanted to make sure that other kids that followed him could do things that he never got the chance to do. That's how the trust came to be. And that's why we're still celebrating and still doing this and still doing the 25th anniversary of the Gold Star Awards, all because one guy really had the foresight to look ahead and do some planning and look at how it paid off. As Max trustees, we want to remind everybody how much teachers mean to every one of us, all the time. And that's where the Gold Star Awards came from. Each year, of course, we honor 10 of the best teachers, and now, tonight, we've honored a total of 250. We know that there are a lot more teachers than the 10 that are here that we're honoring this evening. But we honor 10 each year as a way of th saying thanks to all teachers everywhere, because that's really what we're trying to do. Just to give you the numbers, this year we received more than 1,250 nominations for 568 different teachers. That's a lot of teachers, and we love the support that you've given us. Now, I want to take you back a little bit. 21 years ago, when the Gold Star Awards was just four years old, a nomination came to us from a young man who was then a high school student named Blake Hollis. Now, Blake nominated his teacher at the time, Beth McCrindle, for the Gold Star Award, and guess what? Beth won. 
Today, Beth is a su successful farmer right here in Blackhawk County with two young sons in school. And Bla uh, Beth is an active retiree after 35 years of teaching. So tonight, we've asked them both to reflect on 25 years of the Gold Star Awards, and they're here to do that. Please, join me in welcoming Beth McCrindle and Blake Hollis to the stage. Beth, Blake. Wow, what a night. Here we are celebrating 25 years of great teaching sponsored by a community bent on recognizing and honoring hard work and sincere effort. In that vein, I want to thank the McElroy Trust, KWWL, and all who believe that this is an evening worth having. I honestly will never forget the day that I found out that I was to be so honored. I was out of the building, actually, when the call came into the English department at West High 21 years ago. In the day without cell phones, everyone seemed to know my great news before I could be reached. I was at the spring coaches meeting of the Iowa High School Speech Association, not out playing hooky. What, although I'm sure that would have been a great thought too, but what added to my general sense of amazement, and let's just face it, euphoria, was finding out that a student I thoroughly, thoroughly respected and enjoyed had written my nomination letter. And that student, of course, was Blake Hollis. I believe one of the very best, most personal parts of being a teacher is really getting to know the students who are put in our path. At West, Blake was known for his fabulous singing voice. And I have to tell you that the duet that he sang with classmate James Tillipaw of Unchained Melody was so stirring that I will never forget it, and I can tell you, and you can attest to the fact, it still gives me chills. But I was his speech teacher, not his vocal coach, and so I have to tell you, I also do remember a speech that he delivered in an absolutely beautiful camel hair sport coat. I tried, as a public speaking coach, to instill in my students if they at least looked the role of the public speaker. That would get them a long way. I glanced at Blake's outline and noticed that his speech was on processing a baby pig. <laughs> now, I'm from Chicago, and my dad worked at Rath, so processing could only mean one thing. I was worried, uh, both for my class and also, I must confess, a little bit for Blake's sport coat. But <laughs> what Blake showed us was how to clip the incisors, snip off the tail, and then follow up with an injection of what I think was iodine. I had never heard or certainly seen anything like it. I could easily continue down a trip of memory lane as could every teacher in the house tonight. But I will end simply by saying, thank you, Blake. Thank you for the vote of confidence that you placed in me 21 years ago. Thank you for the gold star, which has meant so much to me. And I want you all to know it was a joy being his teacher. Yeah. This is Blake Hollis. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. 22 years ago, I had the good fortune and pleasure of serving on the selection committee for the Gold Star Teacher Award. And the following year, I nominated a very special teacher for that award, and I'm so honored to be here tonight to have the opportunity to reflect on the Gold Star Teacher Award and what it means as it relates to Mrs. Beth McCrindle and uh, countless students that she has impacted, as well as me, over these years. Mrs. McCrindle, as she said, was my speech teacher, and uh, I'm glad to hear she remembers my pig speech. I was trying to figure out how I could incorporate a pig into my speech here tonight, and uh, I thought, you know, perhaps the folks here at Gallagher Blue Dorn wouldn't appreciate that. I am still a, a hog farmer, so I couldn't let it go 100%. I have here a, uh, a bouquet of bacon roses <laughs> that I would like to present. So. Oh. You know, Shakespeare wrote that a rose by any other name would smell as sweet, <laughs> and I assure you these do. So, 
please enjoy them. I will definitely. I'm not sure them. how long they'll stay in bloom. <laughs> no. But seriously, Mrs. McCrindle did teach me some very valuable lessons that I've carried with me all these years. Uh, as it relates to giving speeches, always have a good introduction. Make sure you grasp your audience's attention and try to hold it. Uh, speak, uh, be concise, which is a point I probably shouldn't elaborate on much. <laughs> and finally, it's not so much what you say as how you say it. Try to maintain eye contact with your, con with your audience. Speak slowly and clearly so that they can understand you. And most of all, speak with passion. In addition to those speech lessons that I remember, though, Mrs. McCrindle also imparted several other lessons that are even more important that I carry with me today. She taught me that uh, it's important to be professional in your appearance, in your attitude, and in your demeanor. She demonstrated that by uh, just exhibiting those qualities every day. And she treated all students with respect, regardless of who they were, meeting each of their needs and meeting them where they were at. And she taught me that in everything you do, preparation is half the battle. Working hard ahead of time pays big dividends. These lessons behind the lessons, I believe, are what distinguish Gold Star teachers from others. It's what separates them from the pack. And it's uh, those things that these teachers do instinctively. Uh, it's important that we recognize teachers for these important qualities and unfortunately, they don't receive the recognition that they deserve as often as, as we would like. But it's wonderful to have this opportunity this evening uh, to uh, uphold these outstanding teachers and all the work that they do. And I just uh, and thank Mrs. McCrindle for the valuable lessons that she shared with me. Thank you. Blake, Beth, thank you. The whole backstage smells like a bacon double cheeseburger. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight we have a special performance for you by the Gold Star Choir. These singers are kids in the fourth, fifth, and sixth grade representing almost every school in Black Hawk County. They have been practicing for just this one performance, just for you, for weeks. They're under the direction tonight of Mrs. Carrie Jo Rudin from Lincoln Elementary in Waterloo, and she's accompanied, they are accompanied by Michelle Swanson of UNI. So please, let's have a big hand for the Gold Star Choir.
That's the Gold Star Choir. You know, it's almost showtime. But before you get to see your teachers, and they're getting pretty nervous, so we'll let them cook for another minute or two before we do this, I want to invite some help up here on stage, particularly because it's our 25th. I'm going to invite some Gold Star friends to help congratulate our teachers and make them feel more welcome, because it can be kind of a long, lonely walk from over there to over here. Watch them, and you'll see what I mean. So I'm going to invite the McElroy trustees and advisors and staff and uh, Ron Steele from KWWL, Beth and Blake, and the Gold Star committee members, if you're here tonight. Any of you who care to come up on stage, please do that at this point uh, so we can help me make our teachers feel welcome. And as they're coming up and getting into place, I just want to remind you all of the enormous amount of work that our committee puts in to make this show possible tonight. You just can't believe how much time it takes to go through all those applications and, and read all that and then make those really tough decisions to winnow it down to 10 winners every year. And without these committee members and the, the work that they do, the Gold Star program would have never gotten to the second year, let alone the 25th year. So we thank you all so much for doing this, and we hope that you enjoy uh, being as much a part of the program as we do. So I think we have everybody in place. So, yep, Mike seems to be the last one who's willing to come up. So I need to tell you how this works, because at this, from this point on, I really, really need your help. Um, it's almost showtime, a time for what you've come here to see, which is your teachers. Uh, tonight's winners, each one is going to get a gold star lanyard for their school badges. Uh, each one's going to get a certificate that's going to look really nifty on any wall or refrigerator you might have hanging around your house at home. And each one gets a check for $1,000 with his or her name on it. We're going to show you the video. Yeah, not bad. We're going to show you the video that's going to play on KWWL for each of the teachers, and then we're going to bring each teacher across the stage individually. You'll, you'll, you'll see how this works if you haven't seen one before. Finally, we'll bring them all back up for a group so you can get a group photo. But now, I need to warn you one more time. This only, and I'm talking mostly to you boys and girls. This only works if you make a lot of noise when I ask you to do that. Because right now, let me tell you, I can see your teachers down here. They're in the front row. And I love this because teachers are always in control. And I was always the kid at the back of the class with the last name like W. And, and so you know, I was always sort of slinking down back there, trying not to be noticed. That's what your teachers are doing right now. They're in the front row. They're, they're hoping, Jim, please don't notice me. Please don't call me out. Well, I can tell you what I know about your teachers at this moment. They are as nervous as a school bus full of kindergartners on the first day of school. So you need to make them feel welcome. This is no time to be shy. Ladies and gentlemen, and particularly boys and girls, Get ready to meet your 2013 Gold Star teachers. First Gold Star teacher is a science teacher at Pete Junior High in Cedar Falls. Pete, are you here? OK. OK, we're going to try this again in just a minute, but I have to warn you. There's ice cream at the end of the show, <laughs> but only if you make a lot more noise than that. Pete, are you here? I can tell you've had a gold star teacher. OK, in her classroom, you're going to find students creating and blowing up volcanoes, making eggs shrink and expand, and mining chocolate chip cookies. One nominator wrote, when I decide what job I want to have or what I want to do with my life, I want to be like Mrs. Beneke. She's a role model and a huge inspiration to me. She and her husband, Jeff, have two kids of their own, Ethan and Emily, and lots of school kids. Let's watch the screen to learn more on this video about Renee Beneke. Junior high kids are squirrely, but so much fun. Um, I love coming every day when the kids have their hands in the air, they have a story to tell, but yet they can really get into the material and understand it a lot. People sometimes say we're crazy to teach this level, but it is, it is so much fun every day to know that the kids are going to have something new and vibrant for me to, to learn myself. Renee Beneke. This is Renee Beneke. Okay, now because Renee was first, I get to tell you a little story about her. She is so much a teacher that she asked us during the rehearsal, who am I going to be high-fiving and how much should I do? 
<laughs> That's a teacher. <laughs> Our second Gold Star winner this evening is a music teacher at Lincoln Elementary School in Cedar Falls. Lincoln! She says that she helps her kids enjoy unlocking the magic of music. In her free time, she's the Spectrum music teacher for local kids with autism. One of her nominators wrote, Mrs. Dro is someone you look forward to seeing each day. She will always help you when you're lost, and her bubbly attitude makes me feel warm inside. She and her husband, Kevin, have a daughter, Anya. Join me in watching the video on our second winner this evening, Michelle Dro. I knew I always loved kids, being with kids, but I also wanted to play my horn and be a professional musician. Once I got into education, I found my passion, and, and I think I'm really lucky that way. The words of wisdom today at Lincoln were, we learn by doing, and I think in the music room, it's really, it really shows. I think kids learn naturally through games and movement, and so it just is a perfect fit. Oh, yeah. Michelle Rowe. This is Michelle Dro. Michelle. <laughs> Michelle, I have to tell you, I'm, I'm the happiest guy in the room to hear that music come up because if that hadn't played this time, you and I were going to be singing. <laughs> Our third Gold Star winner this evening is a chemistry and physics teacher at Union High School in LaPorte City. Are you here, Union? Love it. When asked to share her favorite thing about teaching, she said, everything. I've always loved school, loved learning, and most importantly, loved science. I'm in the perfect place to share my passion. Recently, her passion led to a field trip at the University of Iowa, where 15 high school students had a guest lecture from a well-known astrophysicist. She and her husband, Jason, have three kids of their own, Hannah, Aubrey, and Tyler, and we're about to watch the video to learn more about our third winner tonight. I grew up watching um, Nova on PBS, probably because I've always loved school and I love science. I couldn't see myself teaching anything else. I don't grade things based on points. My students are graded on learning goals, specific concepts. They are actively involved, engaged doing science because that's really what science is all about. They really have to experience it for themselves. Please welcome Jennifer Gates. This is Jennifer Gates. Congratulations, Jennifer. Now, when the lights go down, I can see things up here that maybe you can't out there. And I see this whole line of people. You know, the music comes up, and I can kind of see their feet starting to shuffle. And they really want to be moving up here to the music. So maybe you can help them the next time and tell them it's OK. They can get into it. Our fourth Gold Star recipient this evening is a music teacher at Fred Becker Elementary in Waterloo. Are you here? He uses music to teach kids about Bosnian, Spanish, and Latin American cultures. When asked what he loves most about teaching, he wrote, I love that my job is to make music with kids. Their enthusiasm and energy is contagious, and their creativity and imagination are boundless. He has two daughters, Mila and Ruth. Please watch this video on our fourth winner tonight, Ryan Haynes. I've taught um, from kindergarten to college, and I really, I really, really like the little kids. I love their enthusiasm. Um, I love, you know, that they come in all the time with lots and lots of energy. Um, I love the hugs at the end of the day. Music is just an interactive thing. The more enthused that I am, and the more engaged that I am, the more engaged and enthused that they are. Bring up Ryan Haynes.
This is Ryan Haynes. Good job, Ryan. Thank you. Our fifth Gold Star teacher this evening is a third grade teacher at Hanson Elementary School in Cedar Falls. You, you, you told him about the ice cream, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. She's been teaching for 27 years. When asked what she loves most about teaching, she says, the kids, they're interested in everything and anything. Each year brings new faces, new personalities, and a fresh adventure. She and her husband, Bob, have three kids of their own, Sierra, Tanner, and Cheyenne, and one son-in-law, John. Join me in watching this video about our fifth winner tonight, Kristen Marshall. I just like to connect with them each one in one at the door when they come in and then before they leave. They're excited every day to come to school and they pack a smile when they come and a, usually an extra hug or two. Teachers don't like to toot our own horn, but it was all worth it when I looked around my classroom and I saw my students getting out their whiteboards and they were writing things like, you rock Mrs. Marshall, you go. <laughs> Bring up Kristen Marshall, won't you please? This is Kristen Marshall. <laughs> okay, boys, stay up there. Gravity still works. <laughs> Let's not test this science thesis. <laughs> Congratulations. Our sixth Gold Star recipient tonight is a sixth grade teach teacher of religion and math at Blessed Maria Santa Palata Middle School in Waterloo. Are you here? I, I think that may be our first from that school. Welcome, we are so glad you're here. When students enter her classroom, she says they each become an extended member of her family, not just another math student. One of her nominators wrote, she's like a mom to us. She's very kind, loving, and caring. She's a great teacher to everybody. She and her husband, Chris, have three children, Jamie, Lily, and Aiden. So let's watch the video and find out more about our sixth winner tonight, Trisha Mayer. Just, I grew up in Catholic school, um, and it's just a natural fit for me. I just love that every day is like a new challenge. It's never boring. Um, the kids make it exciting. They have a passion for learning. I take this very seriously that I'm a teacher. For my kids to nominate me, I think that they know that we, what we do here when we meet every day is pretty important. Sure is. Trisha Mayer, come on up. This is Trisha Mayer. <laughs> Good job. Keep that spirit. We're going to use that again in a minute. Our seventh Gold Star teacher is a second grade teacher at Dunkerton Elementary. Are you here, Dunkerton? Oh, yeah. Now talk about doing your homework. Get this, before school starts each August, she schedules a home visit to help her new students feel more comfortable. One of her nominators wrote, Mrs. Rathie is great at helping us figure out problems. Her class is fun. She and her husband John have two children, Brett and Kayla, so let's watch the screen, learn more about our seventh winner tonight, Rhonda Rathie. I 
I think it's an honor to have an impact on a child the way that education does. This age is second grade, so they're mostly seven and eight, and they have so much enthusiasm and excitement for learning still that they want to come to school and they want to be actively involved. It's so rewarding to see that process with them and to know that you were a part of that process. Help me, Dunkerton, this is Rhonda Rathy. This is Rhonda Rathy. Congratulations, Rhonda. Boy, you guys are impressive. You must be hungry. Okay, we're getting there. Our eighth Gold Star winner this evening teaches English at Waterloo East High School. East. Each spring, her class participates in mock trials to determine if main characters from classic books should go to jail. She wrote, my goal as a teacher is to help at least one student each day become a better person and to push them to reach their true potential. She and her husband, Joe, have two daughters, Lillian and Evelyn, and we're going to watch the screen and learn more about our eighth Gold Star teacher tonight, Nicole Scragg. I have always had a passion for working with high school students. I love their personalities. They've got so much to look forward to. They've got so much ahead of them, and it's fun to watch them grow up. A lot of the students I work with, they're going off to like a four-year college or even a two-year college, and when that had that aha moment, and they figure it out and they do it, it's awesome. Bring up Nicole Scragg. This is Nicole Scragg. <laughs> Gary, I was just going to say, I don't know how Carol does it because she's the only one up here getting all the kisses, and then you get one. Good job. <laughs> Our ninth Gold Star recipient teaches English at Hudson Middle School. Hudson? <laughs> I, I think you got a homer here on stage. I'm not sure. I, I, I think I know this guy. One nominator wrote, she was, now listen to this. this. This is good. She was and she still is the best teacher I have ever had. I had always struggled in school, but Mrs. Shapiro made learning so much easier for me. She is hands down the best teacher ever. Now that's high praise. She's taught 42 years. She, go ahead. Go ahead. Forty-two years. Ron, do you remember when you were 42? <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> and I'm older than Ron. Forty-two, I think we probably both were like in her kindergarten class, do you think? Uh, we're, no. <laughs> she and her husband Saul have two daughters, Amanda and Alyssa, and they have two grandkids, Julian and Jacob. Let's find out more about our ninth winner tonight. Please watch the screen for Linda Shapiro. I had a sophomore English teacher who really inspired me. She loved literature, and I kind of knew from that point on that that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to tell stories. I love to read to my students. I'm a little bit of an actress sometimes in front of the classroom. I really like to ham things up. Please bring up Linda Shapiro and let her ham it up.
42 years of teaching. This is Linda Shapiro. Congratulations, Linda, and thank you. And our final Gold Star teacher this evening teaches sixth grade English and instructional coach at George Washington Carver Academy in Waterloo. In his class, stories come alive. He once had a group of students act out scenes from Harry Potter by playing a lively game of Quidditch. One nominator wrote, he's not like other teachers. He can make any lesson a fun activity. You can tell he loves his students. He and his wife, Megan, have two daughters, JC and Reese. Please join us in watching this video about our 10th winner tonight, Jake Youngkent. It's fun. I mean, that's, it's easy to come to work when you have a good time every day. We read and we write, and but we don't read, write, read and write boring things. You know, we have fun and we save the world from all sorts of crazy things. And a lot of teachers think, feel like they got to be the genius, and they're they don't you don't have to be a genius. Kids don't need a genius; they need a human. Let's bring up Jake Youngkin. Come on, kids, show them where you are. This is Jake Youngkin. <laughs> We're going to give Jake about five seconds to get back in his chair, and then I'm going to make him stand up again, because now I'm going to ask all the people on stage to stay where you are, if you would, but we're going to add some more people up here, just in case we were getting a little lonely. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I really need you to help me now because we're going to welcome back to the stage all of your winners at one time so you can see what a great looking group of teachers they really are. Please welcome back to the stage as I call you up your 2013 Gold Star Award winners, including Renee Benneke. <laughs> Michelle Drove. Jennifer Gates. Brian Haynes. Kristen Marshall. Trisha Mayer. Rhonda Rathy. <laughs> Nicole Sprague. <laughs> Linda Shapiro. <laughs> and Jake Young Kent. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, these are your 2013 Gold Star Teachers. I want you all to look up there so these kids don't fall out of that balcony trying to get your attention. <laughs> okay, boys, back. Very good, and girls, thank you so much. <laughs> I thought we were, never mind what I thought. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Now stay where you are, teachers. Please don't go anyplace. Now, did we lie to you? We told you it was gonna be fun, right? 
and we told you it was going to be easy? OK, it gets easier from here, I promise. We just need, we're about three minutes away from finishing this show. So let me do just a couple things, and then your teachers are going to be out there to greet you. We just want to remind you of this. The Gold Star Awards really have hit kind of an important milestone for us tonight. We have recognized, with your help, with this community's help, and with the help of a lot of people standing behind these teachers as well, we have recognized 250 outstanding teachers here in Blackhawk County, and we want to tell you that we're just getting started. I'm going to ask for the house lights to come on, and I'm going to ask that if you have ever received the Gold Star Award at any time in the past 25 years, would you please stand so we can welcome you back as well. Gold Star teachers that came back, look at that. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. Now, just a couple closing notes. As we close tonight's show, we want to thank some folks here, the Gold Star Committee, of course, KWWL, represented by Ron tonight, Carrie Jo Rudin and Michelle Swanson, and, of course, the fabulous Gold Star Choir, Blake and Beth, and this year's Gold Star intern, Emily Hansen, who had the job of putting this all together and did a great job doing it. We also want to appreciate all of you for being here. We do appreciate it and want to recognize you because it's you students and parents and family and friends that make this whole thing possible. This night is really about saying thank you to every teacher who ever believed in you in the first place. I want to share a story with you. It's a true one. Every year, somebody asks us, what does it take to become a Gold Star teacher? And every year, for 25 years now, we have repeated the same story because it's such a good one. It's something that a little boy wrote, nominating his teacher for the very first Gold Star Awards program back in 1989. He wrote, I am nine years old, and I really like my teacher. She makes me feel smart. That has never happened to me before. That, boys and girls, is a gold star teacher. That's somebody who believes in you so much that you will always, always, always believe in yourself. Now, we have ice cream waiting for you in the lobby. Your teachers are going to be there. Please come back next May for the 26th awards, and we will see you then. Thank you, and good night. Thank you.